Christy. I'm just going to do a quick little something on how to change the background on the vending machines. Um, I've just basically learned how to do Canva my own self. So we're just going to do a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock this first. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Make two of them. So when I make changes, I won't lose the one other changes. So let's just move some of these things out of here because we can replace them with the stuff down there. Let's take eagles out. Let's take this out. Let's take the words out. Leave that. Leave that hanging out. This. I'll get rid of all that because I can use this stuff. All right. So you see this. Let's see if we want to do, let me see, images. I got some dark red flowers. So you basically go to search, you're going to do designs, and you're going to search stuff. Like if I want to do this one, let me figure out how I do that. Um, let me type in gold and black. Gold and black. And all the gold and black stuff pop up. So, this is the one that I saved. This is the other one. So, I'm going to pick whatever's black and gold that I like. Maybe um this one. And then I'm going to drag it over to this one. That's all you do. You upload it drag it or use the photos you already have and that's fine maybe I want to change it to this one let's see oh that's a moving one we don't really want the videos <laughs> can't save it like that let's try this one a nice one. So you save that. Let me see. Trying to get the this all the stuff out of here. Because I don't want no video. There you go. I want this one out of here. Like I said, I just learned this my own self, and um, I had to play with it and figure it out. So this is the background that I'm going to use. So now I'm going to start using some of the stuff that I put up here down the bottom. I'll take this eagles and move it up top, and then I'm going to click on it and put um, happy birthday or something. Something like that, I guess. And that would be the happy birthday. And we would like change the colors to mm, brown. Let's get this brown. The side, the side effects, the back of it is maybe I'll go with a grayish color. So where's my brown at? I don't like the happy birthday. Let me just see if I can change it. There we go. That looks much nicer. Even that one looks nicer. The match. So I'll make it shorter and smaller. Put that there. Yeah. And then the vending machine, the this part, I'll just bring it up. 
put it there. And then the square is where we're going to um, cut out. So you want to make sure you put that somewhere because that has to be cut out. So make your door at the bottom. So we're going to put that there. Then we're going to grab the, the push thing. And put that there. And then we need the, this part to go with it. We'll put it here. And then arrange it, layers, and bring to the front. And now left on there. So this is our slot that goes onto the bottom. That's there. Now, whatever picture you want, you can go to your own uploads. You can go to Google Folders, which is here. Then, uh, Google Folders. I got a lot of pictures in here. I don't know. I would have to do a lot of strolls to try to find something in there. But if I wanted to put, let me see. This is. All right, first I'm going to go to Elements. Designs. Let's go. All right, there we go. Elements. We're gonna take this shape and move it over here to the bottom, and then we're gonna go to Google Photos. I'm gonna pick my sister's picture, and I'm gonna put do it here. Leave it there for a second. I'm gonna edit, and I'm gonna remove her background. Now her background is removed. Now that I can get rid of this because we don't need it. And you don't want to take the picture and make it too big because it's going to, um, that's good enough. But you still want to see your stuff underneath there. So I'll take her picture of her. And we're going to, let's text her name. Add a text bar. The text bar comes up. So small, like you can't, you can't see on it. It's so small. I don't understand. That's the only thing. It just okay. You just have to stretch it. That makes sense. Go with the. Let me just delete that. I don't want that. I delete it. So we're gonna go down here to this one. We're gonna. Unlock all this, duplicate it, and then I can use these words for hers. Miss Y, because her name is Y. So I'm just going to go back and take them out, move it up. Like I said, this is my, I'm learning to do camera. I just learned the other day. I never really messed with it. So we can go with the miss. Get all that together. Oh, let's delete it. <laughs> It'll disappear. Miss. And then if I want to go up here, I will find the font that I want to use. It's not changing. Let's load it. Let's try this one. No, I don't like that one either. So, like I said, I'm not. I'm just learning this as I go. All right. So this one. Bigger than M. I'm going to du duplicate it and drag it down because I haven't figured out how to get the um, words to line up on top of each other. Let me 
and just go ahead and just keep duplicating it, dragging it if, if you want to make it up. It's going to probably take up too much space. So let me just get rid of it. It's too much. Let's try it again. Duplicate it. Um, where did you get the picture? And then you just, just, you just keep doing it this way. And that's the only way I can get it. I mean, I'm sure there's other ways to do it. Might be easier. But like I said, I'm just learning it because I bought that the vending machine and you have to have Canva to do it. That's the only thing. You gotta have Canva when you're doing this. Because now all the programs on Etsy that you pay for, it's all gonna have this send you to Canva. So now Canva can make money just like the people who put the programs together. Because you can't do but so much on camera unless you have a membership. Come on now. Where do you see it? Miss. Take that. Duplicate it. And make that Y. Miss Y. That's what she called herself. Miss Y. Alright, so you see how I look? I just changed this. Happy birthday. The under is, is brown. The layer effect is gray. We're going to change that to. Um, we need gold. Maybe a gold. Yeah, that looks better. And that's pretty much it. Now, for the inside, the inside, I like to put my pictures inside. You can use this. You can use the same element so you can get something different and more subtle for the inside, and just cover it with that. That's it. And then the words, you can just get rid of it because it's going in the inside, and you don't need all this on there. You just need a background in your um picture. So I will put this together, which is nice, with this. Now for these, I would probably take that, duplicate it. And bring it um, down here and then get rid of these and probably put Miss Y on the whole thing but it's on the side and you don't need to that they got all their name and stuff on the front you don't need all this extra let's duplicate it no get rid of that delete duplicate that put the next one here duplicate that one yeah, and then you adjust it to the size it should be. These are your side panels. So these are your side panels. Now these, that's the copy next. So these are two sides and this is the top. And these are the shelves inside. So you can take the same one and copy it. You know, duplicate it and drag it down. Keep dragging it down by rolling your finger. I use a mouse and put it on here. It didn't drag. It didn't drag. Duplicate. Alright, we don't want to drag it to that. We want to drag it to this one.
Morning, Greg. Morning. Sometimes just waking up. But that's how you do it. Let me just go here and delete this one. Delete. Now when I drag it, it might go straight here. It's not showing me my picture, so it must be. Oh, it's locked. Make sure you unlock it, because when you un you don't unlock it, then that's what happens. So let me go ahead and duplicate that and put it back over there. Duplicate it again. And we're gonna drag it down here to create this size. Let's get rid of this one in the back of it. All right, like I said, um, it's look, we keep it's locking this stuff back up again. As long as this keep locking this stuff up, it ain't gonna do nothing. It's just not gonna do nothing. So yeah, make mistakes. Make sure you don't lock it. Okay, delete that. So that's the mistake that I'm making that I'm not unlocking it properly. So these will be on the shelf. So just to duplicate and put on the shelf. Duplicate. These are the shelves. So, and then, so you got the shelves. Now, even though this is her front, this is her, the thing you're going to see in the inside, these are the shelves that's going to be on the side that match with that. This is actually the side walls. Side walls. It shouldn't be three side walls. I guess it's only supposed to be two. So these two go on the sides and one on top. Oh, these are the shelves. So these are the shelves. And then I like to take the same picture that's inside and put it on the back of it. So you won't see just plain car stuff. All right. I got to unlock. I think it's unlocked. It's locked. So when it's unlocked, it's, like I said, it's not going to do nothing. Now it will show up. And just stretch it and make it um. So that will be the back. That will be the front. All right. So there you go. This one down here. I'm going to unlock it and delete it. All right. So here you go. Here's your back. Here's your shelves. Here's your side and top. Here's your inside. There's your outside. The thing, the thing about this design that they put together, you don't have a bottom. This piece that go on the top, you need one for the bottom, but they don't offer you one. So you just take so, you just take a piece of foam board, black or something, just put it down at the bottom and trace it and cut it off. That's all. And then when you go here, you go to share. Once you go to share, you go to download the template. And then you download it here, which I don't want to because I'm not keeping that. You download it, and it'll download as the 16 by 20. And then when you print it out, you print it out 16 by 20. So when I go here, I already have one that I'm working on now. Well, that's the old one that I'm working on. Where's the new one? Um, where's my new one? Um, let's see. So here's the new one that I'm working on. The KK Rob. I got that. So when I push, I'm on the MacBook. When I push file and I push print. And then I got it. I'm using the TC20, a Canon TC20. I have to always go to my settings. And I have to make sure I manage my settings by pushing 16 by 20 because that's the size I want. Once I push OK, it, it goes all the way up to the size it needs to be. And then you push print. So I hope this little bit of video helped. Thanks for watching.